Hello people, Hitman Absolution in 2013 our beloved Hitman turned into a Snickman. So let's go in details and I'll explain everything in order. The story. Dear God, I hate the story in Hitman Absolution. Basically you're trying to rescue and help the very special girl that's in short. Don't want to spoil anything else about the story. Now, from my point of view, we have around 50 cutscenes with cheesy conversations and our silent hitman has become a walking talkman, a classical Hollywood character from movies. Uh, the story reminds me of some B category cheesy Hollywood movies, that's the right comparison, a big category Hollywood movie. Our beloved hitman will get fucked two or three times from his enemies during the cutscenes that look and feel so dumb, they couldn't even deceive a squirrel. Not to mention the hitman is the smartest and fastest killing machine ever created. And he gets fucked in the ass. How the hell did this happen? It's beyond my point. But you will get fucked in all levels. You will always run. Be on a run. And those cheesy cutscenes. And of course, you will win at the end of the game. But the taste of victory feels sour. Uh, the wound still lingers when you finish the game. I hated the story and fuck those writers who did it. 2 out of 10 for story. Game bugs. No crashes. No glitches. Very few bugs. Nothing game breaking. Game is optimized very well and it works flawlessly. 10 out of 10 for game bugs section. Game difficulty section. It's great. I completed the game on hard and purest difficulty. Uh, so, two playthroughs. We have easy, medium, hard, expert, and purest difficulty. For me, it was only good on purest, because you will get no help, no guides, no interface, and only a crochet. Enemies will have fastest reactions with their maximum number available per map and no interface means you won't be able to spam your instinct skill. I love the purest difficulty and for casuals there are four difficulties more so everyone will find the difficulty that suits them the best way possible. 9 out of 10 because I wished the AI was harder, even more harder on purest difficulty. Game Time as the next section. Um, if you watch all of those disgusting cinematics where enemies talk to you like you're a clown and not a hitman, and you take the game nice and slow, you'll finish within 20 hours. If you decide to rush, it's 7 or 8 hours. It's actually a solid game time here, no replay value though. I completed the game twice. It remains, everything remains the same, just the difficulty scales. 8 out of 10 in my book for game time. Gameplay, no saves. Everything is replaced by checkpoints. Uh, higher the difficulty, rarer are the checkpoints. <clears throat> well, basically, this Snickman absolution feels more like Sam Fisher than the actual Hitman. You will grab ledges, climb, you can also grab enemies while hanging from ledges. You will navigate through ends too. In 90% of lever levels there is a choice of how you want to complete a level. Silently, I recommend that. Or guns blazing. With or without kills, like a ghost, or you get spotted, go left to the elevator in disguise or take the stairs up it's your choice the game has a lot of choices for some maps for some maps are linear some are not that's how the game is um 
but it's only an imaginative choice. That's the problem. Nothing will change. Your end line stays the same. And stupid cinematics will happen. Whatever you choose to do. Go left or right or straight forward. Same cinematics will happen. Uh, finish the game on purest. Without killing one single person in a game. And I had fun sneaking around them. Can't say I didn't. But I needed to reload checkpoints for 10 times per level till I learned enemy patterns. Basically, you will always have a starting point, so point A, and get to the point B and escape the map. 90% of the levels are, are like that. The control of our hitman is very fluid though. Shooting sequences are also well done. They're very well done. He responds fast on our commands. No delays. You will choke, heal, hide in closets, drag and hide enemies, distract them basically. Disguises are also here again. Everything that you expect from a Hitman game is here in the gameplay. Too bad the other parts of the game cast a shadow on a gameplay because gameplay is actually where this game shines the most 9 out of 10 for gameplay maps and graphics for 2013 game Hitman still has some solid graphics good graphics and I don't have any complaints about it graphics are good nothing special not bad not great they're good just that good Maps though, with exactly 20 different maps or levels, I really like to call it, I guess it's fine, you will encounter a lot of different environments and some diversity in quests. 7 out of 10 for this section. Itemization and leveling as the next section. Okay, uh, classics here. From 10 different sorts of pistols to 10 different sorts of machine guns, shotguns. It's cool, but not necessary at all. We have a lot of weapons and you won't use like 90% of them. Some goes for melee weapons. You know, uh, we also have fire axes to cleavers. You can kill with coffee mugs too. Katanas, whatever you, whatever item you pick, you can kill with that item basically. Uh, around 100 different objects, and that's very cool. No XP, no level ups, no rewards after finishing a quest like in previous Hitmans. It's lame and boring in this section. 5 out of 10 for itemization and leveling. Now, NPCs and enemies. Two main villains here in the game. A lot of NPC targets are Sneak Man and his special little girl. That's it. When the story is bad, you don't care about NPCs too. That's how it is. There were some interesting targets though, and only because of that I'll give this game a 5 out of 10. Some very, very interesting targets. Music and sound for the next section. Great music, great sound effects with some tunes that you will remember for a long time after finishing the game. So that's good. They did this part well. I liked it. Uh, voice actor for Hitman is quite good too and NPC voice actors also did the job well if we exclude the amount of bullshit they're saying in the cinematics I guess it's fine 8 out of 10 for music and sounds so now with 9 sections and 63 points we have exactly 7 out of 10 as a final verdict here and to be honest well even before I started the detailed review section by section 
I knew that I'm gonna give this game a 7 out of 10. It just happened to be the same when I combined all those sections. Do I recommend Hit Hitman Absolution? Yes, especially for Hitman fans, and I know there are a lot of them out there. Uh, the game is not bad, it has great mechanics and nice graphics, but the story is an absolute insult for Hitman fans. Get it on sale, and get it on sale only. Definitely not worth the full price. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.